So we, uh, Rob and Susanna Tuck, Tuck Ag is our company. We, uh, we farm 10 farms in the Macquarie Valley uh, in a 40k radius. Uh, we grow a mixed cropping broad acre irrigation set up with livestock enterprise as well. So we're very mixed, very diversified, which you've got to be these days. We sit about 240 metres above sea level, so we're in the start of the Western Plains really. From here, it's, uh, you go bush into very flat country. Um, we're in a very fertile plain on the, on the, between the Macquarie and the Bogan River. Uh, beautiful fertile soils that were laid down here millions of years ago. Uh, we're very lucky. Uh, we have an underground aquifer here, which was a, yeah, probably linked to the old Macquarie River millions of years ago. So we have a, a, a very reliable groundwater source that we can draw water from. Uh, also, we draw water from Burrandong Dam. We have license inside of Burrandong Dam. So we're, we're a very mixed enterprise. We, we, we put about 5,000 uh, hectares of broadacre farming, yeah, that being canola, a wheat, cereal, pulse rotation. We're very, uh, we're very, very stringent on our rotation. Uh, we're a no-till tram tracking uh, situation where it's all about controlled traffic. Uh, we use a lot of technology in our farming enterprise. Uh, yeah, we rely on GPS, uh, for our for our tram tracking, we uh, we use yield mapping, uh, which we benchmark back to try and be more uh, have better productivity, um, and we uh, use a lot of technology and connectivity to sensor things that are going on in our farming situation. Uh, we we grow uh, 1,200 to 2,000 hectares of irrigated production on groundwater and surface water. Um, water's a vital lifeline for us. Um, so when we hit those drought years, uh, it's, it makes it a bit tougher. Um, we, we technology-wise, uh, we love we love using technology, and to us, it's really it's really made our enterprise uh, boom, I suppose. So the farms, the future program has been pretty important for us. Uh, we were dabbling in that space before the program came along. As, as I mentioned, yeah, we're in a 40k radius, 10 farms, so we uh, spent a lot of time checking things, checking pumps, tanks, uh, monitors on weather stations, rain gauges, whatever else. So for us, uh, yeah, technology, connectivity is highly important. Um, our mobile service is not fantastic out here. It has a lot of dead spots, hot spots. So we, uh, the Wi-Fi connectivity has been fantastic for our program. So the main benefits we've seen in, in our operation is yeah, travel and time, manpower. Um, yeah, labour's uh, really a struggle out here in the bush. Um, we really struggle to find you know, qualified people to come out here and, uh, and work in this outdoor environment. Um, so we, our good staff that we have got, uh, if we can connect them to sensors, cameras uh, on our farms, yeah, they can be doing other operations at the same time while monitoring pumps tank levels, weather stations, rain gauges, yeah, whatever. So, um, yeah, it's been great for us. You know, we've got to get smarter at what we do. And, uh, you know, at the moment, you know, a lot of enterprises out there aren't using technology, so they're doing it the old school way. Um, and if we can use technology and save time, manpower, that, that, that equates to money pretty easy. For us, a camera tells a thousand words. So. Uh, even just simple, you know, connected either Wi-Fi or 4G uh, cameras that are that are looking at a at a site that's important to them that they they know they've got to monitor. That's pretty simple. That gives you a, a good overview of you know what's going on, um, and you can poll at any time you like. Yeah, you know, midnight if you have to, you have to if you, if it's important. So just a basic camera is is a good place to start, and then you can lead into connecting into you know motors pumps, weather stations, uh, things like that, that uh, can give you a lot of data and give you a good real-time snapshot of what's going on in a particular area. As we've ventured further into it, we uh, didn't realise there were so many providers out there uh, supplying different products that, yeah, that can help with this connectivity problem. Uh, we've, definitely, um, we've definitely got better at what we do. Uh, we've definitely found a different, you know, few different bandwidths, you know, whether it be Wi-Fi, 4G or or LoRaWAN bandwidths that we can uh, access uh, our, our hardware into to, to get that data back to our mobile device. So yeah, it's definitely progressed and, and I think we'll just keep learning, that's how it is. 
we spend a bit of time uh, setting up sensors and uh, putting things together. There's a few providers out there that don't offer that. You know, it's uh, I suppose it, it reflects in the price of the product. Um, you pay more, they'll come and set it up. You pay less if you want to set it up yourself. So it all comes down to dollars you want to spend. Um, so yeah, there is a bit of time, but it's all pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, and uh, and they're only a phone call away. Uh, we'd already had a lot of telemetry on on irrigators and and remote pump stations that were just giving us basic data, uh, not not camera footage, but just basic data. Yeah, that that came via SMS if they shut down or something went wrong. And so we were using a bit of technology. We were just getting into that camera space where we were monitoring pump stations and taking overviews of drains and channel heights and uh, water usage to, to give us back good data. And, and also we were, you know, as, as government legislates more into uh, monitoring meters and metering our water, so we were, we were in that space too, trying to get uh, good, accurate data back from water meters that could be telemetry based and sent back to, to log. Uh, now we've got connectivity, Wi-Fi connectivity on, on most of our farms. Uh, it opens a, a huge a huge door for uh, a lot of cameras uh, and more sensors uh, and definitely definitely cameras are, are, you know for security as well but also for monitoring um, you know pumps and things you know like I said a camera tells a thousand words so pretty simple pretty easy um, to look at a look at a, a, a picture of a, of a situation and, and make an assumption whether we need to go there physically and check it or or everything's working well. Right, so we're here at a bore site that's monitored in the connectivity program. You can see there's a, a fuel bowser there that's logged on this app. And we can see the water level in the channel that this channel height's running at. We can see the water in the drain behind us. And we can see all the functions of the motor here. So we've got engine load, RPMs, PSIs, oil pressure, bolts and engine hours. So that allows us to remotely monitor this whole setup here from home. So we're, we're monitoring our soil profile with devices like this through the connectivity program. So this, this uh, well that's a rain gauge on top, but the system's attached to a probe out in the paddock that is down two metres and it's measuring the profile every 20 centimetres. And how that helps us in our, in our what we do our day to day farming is it's, we know what that profile is before we plant a crop. So before we make a decision where we go and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to plant a crop, we can see if the profile is dry or it's got a bucket in there to grow a crop. So those decisions are very important. So as you can see by the by the canola crop behind us, growing a pretty impressive crop uh, from you know, data that we've got off this monitoring device. This particular pump station here is based on one of our cotton farms. Uh, it's a pretty integral part of the farm. It uh, it monitors and pumps all the water that runs off our tail water return system. So we want to capture all our irrigation water we don't use, it runs off. We don't want to waste any uh, into the environment or you know, it could have fertiliser, it could have anything. So we want to capture all that water, it's very important. So this pump station here, brand new, hasn't got a shed on it just yet, but uh, it's in the pipeline. It's, uh, it's monitored uh, through the connectivity program and we're sensing these pumps to make sure that they are still running when we start them, they don't shut down and to see what this water level is doing behind us. So we know if this water level fills up too full, we need to rev the pumps up or down so we can keep that water away and keep it within a closed system into that reservoir there so it can be ready for reuse. The old school way of doing it before we went to bed at night time, whoever lived on this farm would have to hop in a vehicle, you know, half past 10, 11 o'clock at night and do a round around all these pumps, take him an hour probably, uh, yeah, on his own, no one on farm, so it had work health and safety issues for starters. If uh, you know, something happened or you got bogged or a ute slipped off a ledge or something, there's no one to contact. Um, you know, most of the guys are in, asleep. So he had to drive around and monitor all these before he went to bed. And then first thing, when he got up in the morning at daylight, he monitored them again. So there was still a phase there of seven or eight hours in between or six hours, seven hours, where they were just running unattended. So now it's connected to his mobile device and he can actually check them before he goes to bed on his bedside table. Uh, make sure all the functions are right and then if he wakes up in the middle of the night for some reason having a bad thought that something's going wrong he can just roll over and check it again happy days work health and safety is a really important one you know these guys uh, you know they don't have to drive around the middle of the night uh, they might be tired they've worked all day and then they've got to drive around the middle of the night and check things so you know it has work health and safety issues so it definitely ticks that box it also ticks the box of time you know 
your time's precious. Uh, you've knocked off once already, you know you want to spend it with your family, uh, not driving around checking pump stations. And it's time saving for us, monetary wise, dollar wise, and also wear and tear on vehicles. And, and, and the other most important thing is when it rains, when it's pouring rain and it's too wet to access these sites, we can remotely look at them. We're not trying to plow down here on a four wheel motorbike or a buggy or on foot sometimes. You, know, you can't drive a vehicle down here, so it's, it's, that's where they really kick goals. I think the good old rule of thumb is first money is the best money. So I think if you're gonna do it, you're better off uh, you know, spending a bit more money up front, getting the quality, and, uh, and I think that has long term payback. So the dashboard that we have in our office uh, scrolls through all the sensors we've got. It has the ability to do that. So, you know, when I'm in the office, which is rarely, <laughs> uh, in agriculture these days, you know, there's not a lot of room for sitting in an office. Um, we've got to be out and about and really have a dashboard in our top pocket, but which we do. We, everyone's got a smart device. But when we are in the office, yeah, it, it allows us the ability to have that scrolling over in front of us, especially for weather decisions, spray decisions, you know, an operator can uh, can call and say, you know, I'm not quite sure what the conditions are doing on this farm. Should I proceed? Should I you know, mix up a load of chemical to go to spray or should I not? So, yeah, you can have an informed decision. So as part of our planning routines, weather is, is very important. Uh, we want to know what the weather's doing in a particular spot before we perform a particular operation. So weather's pretty important. It drives agriculture. Uh, also rainfall. Uh, we want to know if there's rainfall on a particular farm so we don't send a operation there and it's going to be wet they're going to be washed out so rainfall is pretty important for us too yeah there's always, there's always better things we can do with data um, i think down the track definitely benchmarking that data we should be you know, logging that data and going back and looking at historical records and and seeing if we can come up with some trends on that data that might help us make important management decisions with having data at our fingertips and to access it on a smart device in our pocket definitely uh, lowers our stress levels um, it allows us to have confidence in what we're doing and things that are working remotely. It allows us to uh, sleep definitely longer at night. In our operation, the Farm Smart program you know, has, has had a lot of benefits for us, but the main benefit has been, uh, has been travel, as in we commute between 10 farms, monitoring all different sorts of, of applications. So the time saving has, has been huge for us. Time saving, fuel saving, vehicle saving, safety saving. Just not putting guys on roads in the middle of the night to, to check remote pump stations. Uh, yeah, we've been able to monitor that via a, a desktop or via a, a mobile device. So that's been huge, hugely beneficial for our enterprise. So Farm of the Future program, connectivity program has been, uh, been probably a highlight you know, over the last 12 months. It's uh, had a lot of resources, a lot of effort, and a lot of time put into uh, to the program, and uh, we've we've come away a lot smarter. Uh, we've come away a lot uh, a lot better in what we do, and we're making more informed decisions.